Hi everyone, so this is the first vid for the first lesson of vectors. So the way I'm going to try and potentially split it is lesson one uh, down to lesson two, then lesson three. So let's give that a go and see if that works. Right, so you should have done some vectors at GCSE <coughs> when you did science. So a vector has a magnitude and a direction, whereas a scalar only has a magnitude. So if you think about driving down the motorway at 70 mile an hour, that's a scalar. But if you're like a helicopter pilot, you need to know the speed and you also need to know the direction that you're going in. Because when you're just driving down the motorway, you're just following the road, aren't you? You're not going to veer off to the left or the right. So, so that's your main difference. So it says a vector is a directed line segment. So can you see the arrow on this? This arrow there tells you that I'm going from A to B. And it tends to, it tends to put an arrow on it pointing the direction from to. So that's A to B. So it says if two vectors have the same magnitude of length, then they're going in the same direction. So they're equal to each other. So that would tell us that they're parallel to each other. Parallel. If two vectors have the same magnitude but they're going in the opposite direction. So if you look, this one is going from A to B. So A to B. Whereas this one is going from B to A. But to get them going both the same way, I could say that A to B is the opposite direction of B to A. And that's quite important. So if you had any kind of, any of them, so we want C to D, that's the same as minus D to C. A, A. So we can add vectors together. Now I imagine this as being like, um, like a brick wall around your garden. So if I start off at A to B and walk along that brick wall from A to B, so that's A to B, and then I walk around B to C, so I've walked around the outside of my garden, and that's just the same as legging it across the middle of my garden, which is A to C. There. Uh, Dave also, there's a different way, you can have it kind of, Vectors can be shown as being emboldened, like these are, or underlined. You can't really do an emboldened when you're doing a, when you're doing a thing here, when you're doing a task, because it doesn't really stand out. So you're better either using the arrows on the top with two letters, or giving it a little letter and then underlining it. There. So I've got one here that says A minus B. So I'm kind of adding on of the wrong direction, that's what that does. Yeah. Other stuff that you should have seen potentially in school is that I can kind of do multiples of it. So here's my, I've got my vector A, which I'm going to underline. I'm trying to underline all these little vectors. Because you have them in bold, you can't do that, can you? It's a fact. Yeah. And you can't tell anyway. Right, so this one's three times bigger. Longer. And it's also still parallel. That's the important bit as well. So that's 3a. A half a is half as big. Then we've got b, the vector b. We've got minus 2b. So if you look, the direction's going in the opposite direction and it's twi half, twice as big. And that's half as big in the wrong direction. So it says any vector that's parallel may be written as lambda a, where lambda is a non zero constant. Okay, so lambda is just your number, the 3, the half, the minus 2, uh, and the minus a half. Right then, so we've got an example. So these you've definitely seen in school. These are definitely on GCSE papers, aren't they? Uh, let's look at example 1 then. So show that the vectors 6a plus 8b and uh, 9a plus 12b are parallel. Right, so then we want some multiples of each other in the parallel. Oh, 
are multiples of another vector. So let's see what we can take out for 6a plus a b. So if I take out 2, I've got a 3a plus a 4b. And what I want to do is see if I can put the other one, the 9a plus 12b, as some combination of 3a plus 4b. And if you look, I can, I can take 3 out as a factor. So both of these are multiples of 3a plus 4b. So they must be parallel. So they must be parallel. Right, I might stop there and do another one, so I'm keeping my bits shorter. Okay, bye bye.